because they had a board meeting yesterday and they are looking to raise money by diluting stake in some non-core businesses uh, uh, and looking at other ways of uh, uh, increasing their capital. Kishore Kharat, the managing director and CEO of ID, uh, IDBI Bank, has joined us on the phone line. Good morning, Mr. Kharat. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, well, uh, what are the decisions that were taken by the board yesterday? Uh, where should we expect uh, stake sales uh, in your non-core category? Non-core assets, uh, if you recollect last uh, one and a half year, we have been actually talking about demonetizing, uh, sorry, monetizing our uh, non-core assets. So this monetization of non-core assets plan is actually it's a continuing basis. This year also we are monetized. Last year also we monetized by a few of our non-core assets. This year also we have lined up few. And uh, obviously we needed uh, boards uh, not for that timetable and amount uh, that you are looking for in FY18 itself? FY18, we will we are expecting something around 5,000 crores. 5,000? 5, yeah. And what could be the, um, the timeline of this? I mean, are you looking at anything in the first half of the year, any quantum that we could look, for, yeah, look fact, forward to? No, we, we have already initiated in case of some of the non-core assets, but mm -hmm. there are certain processes to be followed. And we, we have a huge lineup of non-core assets which require, we, which cannot be actually sold immediately. Mm. It has to go through various processes. Okay. So processes uh, will take at least three to six months time. Okay. But okay. timelines, if you ask me, definitely we would like to uh, complete all that before September 18. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mr. Khan, good morning. Can you give us the names of the uh, non-core investments that you are looking at, which are the low hanging uh, fruits right uh, now? No, because, let us because not we have discuss the list, about but the names because these are all price institute non core assets. No, no, I, I, you know, I, 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 I don't want to, to disclose. I don't the, want to uh, disclose the price at which you want to sell, but you know, if no, no, you no, could no, just not. tell us, uh, you know, the the kind of assets that you're looking to sell. No, uh, it is better that I don't disclose even the uh, type of asset also because, but all of you know, we have yes. given this in various presentations also what kind of non core assets we are sitting on. Mm. So one by one, we are going to uh, monetize all of that. Mm. Uh, sir, I want to place in uh, before you some of the statements we got from government officials. They are unnamed government officials. And these were the statements. Government may have to work on a new strategy for IDBI bank stake sale. Uh, the uh, 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 current strategy of finding uh, big investors uh, apparently is leading to some complications. Uh, can you give us some more? Can you throw some light on what is the changed strategy? Uh, in terms of finding uh, buyers for the government stake in IDBI? Uh, look, yeah, this has been going on for uh, quite some time. Uh, but uh, if you really ask me, we, I, w I won't be able to comment on what strategic government is thinking. Uh, one thing, the intent of the government, they have time and again made it clear that they would like to uh, do the strategic sale of IDBI. We are also waiting for the strategy, uh, what exactly strategy will come out, out of this. Various options what government is actually exploring, uh, those also we are just awaiting. Okay. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, asset quality as well? Because, you know, your bank is sitting on one of the highest gross NPAs at about 15%. We just heard from the Deputy Governor Veera Lacharya yesterday that there is a two-pronged strategy put in place for NPA resolution. Uh, what did you make of that? And uh, do you think that we could see any, um, you know, uh, respite in the asset quality of IDBI Bank over the next few quarters? Um, let me tell you the asset quality of IDBI Bank. Actually, uh, if you look at our asset, they are all in uh, those sectors we are actually uh, we, which are actually under the tremendous pressure. They, these are the sectors, core sectors, particularly steel, power, uh, textile, cement. We we are heavily in the heavy industries as well as infrastructure. This is not the situation with other banks. We have been because it was a development finance institute, and these are. Uh, we, we have taken the exposures at, at a large scale also in uh, these industries. So unless these industries, economic situation, particularly in these industries, improves, our asset quality will remain under pressure. So that is continuing. We are hopeful that these uh, segments, these sectors of economy will improve and uh, then asset quality pressures can get released. Coming to Reserve Bank of India, they have, coming out, they, they have been coming out with a lot of resolution mechanisms, but none of that is actually working. If you look at the pressures, uh, what bankers are feeling, despite those resolution mechanisms, 
we need some kind of relaxations in those whether it is the sdi or whether it is testing reserve bank of india to look into these uh, all resolution mechanisms so that it can work as of as on date none of that is working uh, particularly the bankers are facing it's very difficult to use those tools for uh, resolutions okay but are you getting a sense now that that uh, you know the cap that only 50% of uh, sustainable debt will be allowed to be cut could be increased uh, they may tell you that uh, if the bankers agree even more than 50% of unsustainable debt can be written down no in fact what my personal opinion is that should be left to the banks to mm. arrive at the percentages mm. if you throw something like 50% should be non core uh, uh, sorry non viable then obviously even the viable units are coming and pitching for 50% non viability and okay. pushing it for a longer term okay. and uh, uh, secondly when we do this uh, non viable like like for in the mm. case of sdrs let us say mm. now subsequently rbi came and told us to reverse the interest provision yes whatever we had done uh, on sdr cases unrealized interest we have to reverse it mm. one side they are made us to reverse other side that 18 per months uh, cap is still there mm. uh, what we have realized it takes particularly in the uh, bigger consortiums it takes time yes. for all the banks to get to the decision making yes. and then the, on other side that 18 month time is getting over mm. so account is becoming npa yep. so either they should ask us to make the provisions and allow us uh, rather release that 18 months cap okay. or extend it at least by another 6 months so that you know we can reach some resolution the point taken mr karat i think right from the start uh, all the bankers were complaining that 18 months is not good enough to find a new promoter at all but yes. just finally before we let you go uh, can we hear something positive from the bankers after all you have been working on the bushens and the srs uh, and the electro steels for such a long time now uh, is there any resolution that we can expect in fy17 or at least in the first half of fy18 no all bankers if you see we are all actually uh, working hard on getting these resolutions but but for this uh, few technical issues which we are actually uh, getting hit with which we are actually talking to reserve bank of india i think we have brought it to the even uh, notice of the government officials also and other day in the fms meeting also we requested that if these kind of resolutions are given because it is ultimately in the interest of the economy so we are expecting that at high level some decisions will be taken and then give some uh, relief is given uh, particularly in the, these tools we will definitely see in 1718 some uh, accounts getting uh, resolutions all right so we we'll leave it at that thank you very much for joining us uh, with your uh, thoughts on the npr